Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video, we will be proving that the square root of two is an irrational number. So let's get right into it. Let's suppose, for the sake of contradiction, that the square root of two is, in fact, rational. Well, in that case, then square root of two is equal to a over b for some integers a and b, where b is not equal to zero. Of course, that's the definition of rationality. Let's also assume that this fraction, a over b, is in its lowest terms, which means that a and b are relatively prime, which means that a and b have no common factors. So in other words, a and b can't both be even because they would have common factors of two. It's in its lowest terms. So with that out of the way, let's move on. We'll take this equation and square both sides. So two is equal to a squared over b squared. All we did was square both sides, root two squared is two, a over b squared is a squared over b squared. Now we'll multiply both sides by b squared, and that gives us two b squared equals a squared. Therefore, since a squared is equal to two times some integer, we know a squared has to be even. And since odd numbers squared are odd, and even numbers squared are even, we know that a has to be an even number. So what I just said there was a squared has to be even. We know that because of this equality here. And in order for the square of a number to be even, the original number also has to be even. If you don't believe that, it's an easy proof, and we can, we can prove that another time, or maybe I have already proved that on the channel. But in any event, we know now that a is even. So a equals 2k for some k that is an integer. So it's an element of the integers. a is an even number. Now we can go back to our equation over here and substitute 2k into a squared. So 2 is equal to 2k squared divided by b squared. Now again, we can multiply both sides by b squared, and we get 2b squared equals, well, if we square this, we get 2 squared, which is 4, multiplied by k squared, which is k squared. Now we multiply both sides, uh, excuse me, we divide both sides by 2, and that leaves us with b squared equals 2k squared. And the same exact argument follows here. This means that b squared is an even number, and only an even number squared gives you an even number. 2 squared is 4, 4 squared is 16. If you look at odd numbers squared, like 3 squared, it's 9. 9 squared is 81. Odd numbers squared always give you odd numbers. Even numbers squared always give you even numbers. So for b squared to be even, b has to be even as well. So our final conclusion, which is the contradiction, is that a and b are both even. That means they have common factors of 2, which contradicts our original assumption that this fraction, a over b, was in its lowest terms, which meant that a and b didn't have any common factors. We see now that they do, which is a contradiction. Of course, um, opposite statements cannot be true. Therefore, our original assumption that the square root of 2 is a rational number must be false. Thus, square root of 2 is, in fact, irrational. So I hope this video helped you understand how to prove that the square root of 2 is an irrational number. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions if you need anything clarified or if you have any other video requests. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe to the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You live it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes every 